And I'm Tom Trench. Chaos out of Pentagram City today as a turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and self-proclaimed spunky powerhouse Cherry Bomb. That's right, Tom. After the recent extermination, many areas are now up for grabs. Demons all over hell are already duking it out to gain new territory. Those two seem to really be going at it. Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. And I'd sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> you are a lip dick jackass, Tom. Or should I say, no dick. Coming up next, we have an exclusive interview with the daughter of Hell's own head honcho, who's here to discuss her brand new passion project. All that and more, after the break. Suck it up, you little fit. Remember what to say? Yes, let's do this. Just look at me and I'll map it to you. Come on, Baggy. I know what to say. I just feel like we need to, I don't know, make things sound more exciting. Ooh, what if I sing a song about it? You knew I was gonna say that. Because I know you. But please don't sing. This is serious. Well, you know, I'm better at expressing myself and my goals through song. But life isn't a musical, hun. Fine. But, but I have these other ideas of what to say. The highlighted bits are the best parts. Uh, it's all highlighted. Is this a drawing? Yes, that's the happy ending, see? Everyone's smiling and happy in heaven. I don't think it's that simple. Just please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Okay, fine. I'll just have to result to my impeccable improv skills. Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. I'd say it's a pleasure to meet you, but that would be a lie. You can put that away. I don't touch the gaze. I have standards. Yeah? How's that? How's that working out for you? Look. My time is money, so I'll keep this short. You're not here because we wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking segment. You might be some royal big shot, but that doesn't mean shit to me. I'm too rich and too influential to give a flying fuck about what some tough swearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I... So don't get cute with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. And we're live. Welcome back. So, Charlotte. It's... Charlie. Whatever. Tell us about this new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Well, <clears throat> as most of you know, I was born here in hell, and growing up, I always tried to see the good in everything around me. Hell is my home, and you are my people. We, we just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance. I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence. So, I've been thinking, isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in hell? Perhaps we can create an alternative way to change souls through... Redemption? Well, I think yes. So that's what this project aims to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm opening the first of its kind. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. You know, because hotels are for people passing through temporarily. <laughs> Is this girl for real? She thinks you hear what she thinks? She <laughs> She's nuts. I figure it was for the purpose of a place to work towards redemption. <laughs> Yay! Look, every single one of you has something good deep down inside. I know you do. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh, no. I have a dream, I'm here to tell, about a wonderful, fantastic new hotel. Yes, it's one of a kind, right here in hell, catering to a specific clientele. Inside of every demon is a rainbow, inside every sinner is a shiny smile. Inside of every creepy hatchet moving maniac is a jolly, happy, cupcake-loving child. Who can turn the world, go beyond the sound. Just a little time. 
was shit. 